Now he's lost that clean air. Oh, oh. big wreck. Huge contact. 48 is involved. That's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Now up and over goes to 27. So Jeff Burton sliding on top. I just want to get you. Sideways, now it's white smoke. No one can see. The 48 of Stenhouse. The 27 sees it. He goes as far left as he can. He has a choice. Oh. Am I either going to hit the end of pit wall or stay on the racetrack? And he just launches off the 48 upside down. And then this long slide had to feel like forever. I'm not going to know what's better, sliding or tumbling. I'm going to say sliding if he's fine, but... Yeah, but watch how close Jeb was to the end of this pit wall. He has a split decision. Pit road or not, the yellow barrels are not a good option. Yeah, he made... Ugh, he made the right decision not to try to turn left there at the last moment. Just a no-win situation for Jeb. That would be the other thing that a driver would fear is he's in such a vulnerable position. So now the spin, and look at all the smoke. So you want to say, all right, here's where I want to go, but you're just trying to miss him. And then it happens that quick. I mean, that decision has to be made in milliseconds. That's why you're but I love... Slow motion replay shows us the violence. Like, this will show just how much that car launches in the air. Now, look at this hit right here. He lands basically on the driver's side door, tumbles onto the A-post. That shows how violent it is, but there's nothing like a full-speed replay to show you Jeb's decision-making. It is right now, left or right.